In December of 2019, the world was struck with a horrific disease known as the coronavirus, or COVID-19. Since then, as of the release of this video in May of 2020, the virus has driven the entire world into fear, panic, and isolation. The virus has infected millions all across the globe, and it is unlikely the spread will stop in the near future. But even in these worst of times, we can appreciate how far our understanding of science and medicine has mitigated the suffering of this terrifying disease. In fact, throughout the history of human civilization, there were a plethora of diseases that were far more deadly and debilitating than the one we are facing right now. In this list, I will go through 10 historically attested pandemics that have brought far more death and suffering than COVID-19 has as of this video. Number 10, Persian Plague. First on our list is the Persian Plague, which claimed around 2 million lives between the years 1772 and 1773. The outbreak first occurred in the city of Baghdad, which for over a thousand years has been a major population center in the Middle East, and remains so to this day. The disease responsible for the virus was the bubonic plague, which was a very deadly and highly contagious disease in the days before modern sanitation and antibiotics. The disease spreads via infected fleas, who would transmit the plague from animals to humans. The most notable symptom of the bubonic plague is buboes, which are large, swollen, painful lymph nodes appearing around the groin, armpits, and neck. Before modern medicine, outbreaks of the plague regularly resulted in millions of deaths. And this is not the only time the bubonic plague appears on this list. Number 9. Asian Flu The Asian Flu was a global pandemic which originated in the city of Guizhou, China in the year 1957. It was responsible for at least 1 million deaths worldwide, but some estimates go even as high as 4 million. The disease responsible for this tragedy was influenza A virus subtype H2N2, which is similar to your typical seasonal flu. It had the highest mortality rate among the elderly, pregnant women, and people with heart and lung disease. Although the disease was rarely fatal in young children, they were the primary spreaders, which caused many Western nations to temporarily close schools. The disease had a high mortality rate, particularly in the developing world, since flu vaccines were not widely available for the general population. Number 8. Antonin Plague The Antonin Plague was a pandemic which primarily affected the Roman Empire between the years 165 and 180 AD, and was responsible for an estimated 5 million deaths. The disease originated among Roman soldiers who were turning from campaigns in Western Asia. It was mentioned by the famous Greek physician Galen, who witnessed the outbreak firsthand among stationed soldiers in the Roman city of Aquileia, located in the contemporary country of Italy. He noted the long duration of the disease and its symptoms, which include fever, diarrhea, and pharyngitis, a type of throat inflammation. To this day, historians are unable to determine the actual disease which caused this pandemic, but most believe it to be either smallpox or measles. Regardless of the disease, this pandemic was very deadly, causing up to 2,000 deaths per day just in the city of Rome, and eliminating 10% of the Roman population. Number 7. The Coccolitzli Epidemics The Coccolitzli Epidemics, also known as the Great Pestilence, were a series of epidemics occurring in the Spanish colony of New Spain in the 16th century. The disease, called Coccolitzli, has a vast array of horrifying symptoms, similar to other diseases of the Old World. Spanish physician Francisco Hernandez de Toledo, who witnessed the disease firsthand, listed high fever, vertigo, severe headaches, dark urine, dark tongue, dysentery, severe abdominal and chest pain, and gastrointestinal hemorrhaging as just a few of the many symptoms of the disease. The total death toll of these pandemics, which ravaged the present-day country of Mexico, ranges between 5 and 15 million, the vast majority of which were native Aztecs. This is because when Spain began making colonies in Latin America starting in 1492, the natives in which they subjugated were not immune to the many deadly diseases present in the Old World. This caused major native population drops across both North and South America. Number 6. Third Plague Pandemic The Third Plague Pandemic was a major pandemic which began in the Yunnan province of China in the year 1855. Like the aforementioned Persian Plague, this pandemic was caused by the bubonic plague. It's called the Third Plague because this is the third outbreak of bubonic plague to widely affect European nations. However, the vast majority of fatalities occurred in Asia, with over 12 million deaths in India and China alone. 
The pandemic lasted over 50 years and was present across the globe from California to the Philippines. The severity of the virus in Asia had a significant impact on the British Empire, which at the time controlled India as well as several Chinese port cities. The British government placed several unpopular quarantine measures, such as isolation camps, travel restrictions, and the outlawing of Indian traditional medicine. This caused major political tension among the Indian population, and led to the assassination of Indian Civil Services Officer Walter Charles Rand in 1897. Number 5. The Plague of Justinian The Plague of Justinian was the first significant outbreak of the bubonic plague in Europe. It first occurred in the year 541 AD, but had several reoccurrences up until the year 750, causing upwards of 25 million deaths during this time frame. The disease was most widespread in the Eastern Roman Empire, also known as the Byzantine Empire. The name Justinian comes from the Emperor Justinian I, who ruled the Byzantine Empire during the initial outbreak. The Byzantine historian Procopius recorded that, at its peak, the plague killed 10,000 citizens each day in the capital city of Constantinople. It was so horrifically deadly that dead bodies were piled in the streets with no room to bury them and the entire city smelled of rotting flesh. The severity of the disease had a tremendous impact on the Byzantine economy, which was already in significant debt after various conquests and territorial expansions around the Mediterranean. This caused the Byzantine Empire to lose over half of its territory by the 8th century. Number 4. The HIV AIDS Pandemic As the most recently occurring pandemic on this list, HIV and AIDS continues to afflict millions of people to this day and has killed over 30 million people as of 2018. HIV, which stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, is the initial stage of the disease which, when left untreated, will progress into AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. HIV AIDS infects protective T cells in the human immune system, significantly reducing the ability for the body to fight other diseases. Although HIV and AIDS are not contagious in typical day-to-day -day confrontations, the disease is able to spread from person to person via unprotected sexual intercourse, breastfeeding, used hypodermic needles, and unregulated blood transfusions. The disease originated among non-human primates in Africa, with the earliest documented human case appearing in the Congo in 1959. It spread to the Americas via Haiti, and was first attested by American doctors in the year 1981. The disease became widespread among America's gay community, who suffered significant discrimination and stigma as a result. Today, although AIDS is treatable, it continues to kill millions of people in Sub-Saharan Africa, who are too impoverished to afford treatment. Number 3. Spanish Flu The Spanish Flu of 1918 was by far the most deadly instance of the flu in recorded history. The disease which caused this terrifying pandemic is the H1N1 influenza A virus, which also happens to be the same virus which caused the swine flu epidemic in 2009. Despite its name suggesting that the disease came from Spain, historians are actually not quite certain where the flu originated. What is known, however, is that its toll was catastrophic, causing between 17 and 100 million deaths worldwide. The primary reason the virus managed to have such a massive toll is because it first appeared during the last years of World War I. Western soldiers were being mobilized en masse across the European continent, bringing the flu with them as they traveled. Now normally, flus tend to be fatal for very young infants and the elderly, but the Spanish flu had a higher than average mortality rate for young adults, which is the primary age group for a World War I soldier. After World War I ended, these soldiers returned home, spreading the disease even further. The situation became so terrible that overcrowded hospitals had to set up temporary wards, and in many places, the dead were buried in mass graves without coffins. Number 2. Black Death The Black Death was the most deadly instance of the bubonic plague by far. The disease originated in Central Asia, but managed to spread eastward along the Silk Road, arriving in the European continent in 1346. By 1353, the plague killed between 75 and 200 million people. Just 30 years before the start of the pandemic, Europe's population had already been decimated by the Great Famine of 1315, which killed millions and forced many peasants into cannibalism. However, the Black Death made the Great Famine look like a paper cut, killing upwards of 50% Europe's population at the time. During the late Middle Ages, Europeans believed that disease spread through bad smelling air, which was the dominant theory of disease spread up until the discovery of bacteria in the 19th century. Because of this, Doctors at the time had no idea how to effectively treat the virus or prevent its spread. Now, despite its horrific devastation, the plague actually had a few positive effects on European society. 
the drastically reduced population gave peasants more political power, which eventually led to the decline of feudalism in the 16th century. Number 1. Smallpox Now, smallpox isn't really a specific epidemic, but there was hardly a time in world history in which it did not devastate humanity. In the 20th century alone, smallpox killed over 300 million people. This is significant because smallpox vaccines had already existed for over 100 years, since their invention by the English scientist Edward Jenner in 1796. People who catch smallpox develop small blisters all over the body. The disease has a 30% fatality rate over its four week duration, and many of those who survive suffer permanent blindness and disfigurement. Before the invention of the first vaccine, smallpox was a very common cause of death around the world. The most prominent victims of smallpox were the indigenous peoples of North and South America, who had no immunity to the disease during the arrival of Europeans in the 15th century. However, even after the invention of the smallpox vaccine, smallpox still remained an incredibly common cause of death outside of the Western world, with 15 million million yearly cases occurring as recently as the 1960s. Thankfully, due to the World Health Organization's efforts in providing affordable vaccinations across the developing world, smallpox was completely eliminated in 1977. So that's about it for this week's list. My question for you guys is, how have you guys been spending your time during the quarantine? Please post your answers in the comments below. I hope this list made you feel at least a little better about our current situation, and if you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing this video as well as subscribing to the InsaneTube channel. Your support helps make these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and please remember to stay safe out there.